Hello, my name is Aman and welcome back to the tutorial series Getting Started with Loophole. In our last video, we discussed how to share your local directory with anyone sitting across the globe. This way, you could share your files with anyone with just a single URL. Now, the link to that video is in the description below. But consider a scenario where you wish to download and upload files at the same time. Well, Loophole lets you do that as well. Now, this is the key difference between directory or a web dev option. And today we will talk about the web dev option. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Head over to the Loophole GUI and check if you're logged in. Now, before you can create a web dev tunnel, we need to authenticate ourselves. Now, if you're new to Loophole, I highly suggest watching the sign up video first. You can find the link to sign up in the description below. Now, once you've signed up, you can create your first directory for your friends. I have a sample list of files and folders that I would like to share with a friend sitting in Texas. Copy the path to these files and paste it on the loophole GUI. Now, if you would like to use a custom domain, you can add it here. For now, I'd like to use the name test documents. Loophole transfers data over a secure SSS protocol. Now with that confirmation, let's click submit. Our tunnel is now created successfully. If you see a red sign here, you might have done something wrong. So just restart the same process and follow those steps. Now copy this URL. There are multiple ways to share the URL. So we can start by mounting the file locally. Now the process of mounting is different for Windows, Linux or Mac users. In order to save you some time, check out the video timelines below. I have broken it down into three sections based on the operating systems. So feel free to skip to the part that interests you the most. We will first start with Windows. In order to mount it locally, go to the File Explorer and you will see the file system for Windows. If you go here and right click, choose Map Network Drive as from the options. Now the mapped network drive screen pops up. Choose the drive name and paste the URL we obtained from Bluehole at this folder field. And now click finish. Great, all my files are now available via this drive. I can download or upload to this drive. If you want your friend to upload files to your PC, he can simply drop files in this folder or he can download files from here as well. If you wish to stop the tunnel, all you have to do is come back to the loophole GUI and click stop the tunnel. For Ubuntu users, click on the location in the file manager. Now enter the URL over here. Now click connect. You've been successfully connected. We can perform similar actions of adding new files or folders or even modifying the existing ones. Let's move to the Mac OS. Mounting your web drive is pretty simple in Linux based systems as compared to the Windows. Click on go and select the last option, connect to server. Now enter your URL in the dialog box and click connect. You can connect either as a guest or the user of the system. For this tutorial, let us just click guest and connect. You're now connected. You can transfer files from the server to your system or copy files from your system to your server. Great. 
In this video, we understood how to implement WebDev with Loophole. Now, um, for more such tutorials, visit us at loophole.cloud. Until next time, happy coding!